So there's not an enormous amount of it innovation going on in games at the moment. I mean, the the issue that the issue is that people are expecting a certain level of, of, of fidelity in a game, and that level of fidelity costs millions and millions of dollars, and there and takes an enormous amount of time, and um, people are just not willing. The people who have the money to be able to invest to make games are not willing to take risks on on highly speculative designs. So there are very few companies that really do let that let innovation shine through, and the rest of them are creating very very safe games that are. Uh, that have a very small amount of difference to differentiate them from the other shooting games. The problem is that there's really no way around it. I mean, the film industry has, has the indie film scene, right? And the indie film scene exists because a group of people who are interested in it can spend a few, th like a few thousand dollars and to get hire a camera and get some lights and, and they can go with their mates and they can go into the woods and they can make their short film and if it's cool and the people are talented and they've got some good ideas and you know and a computer to be able to edit it on then Bob's your uncle they've made a film and it can look pretty okay but for a game you just literally you can't do that everything has to be built everything has to be made and the quality that people are expecting just takes enormous amounts of time building one character for a next generation game takes a team of or it would take one person like two months or something insane. So it's just not it's just not viable. So until there's some kind of standard game engine system that has a ton of stuff that you can use for free, and I can't see that happening anytime soon, <laughs> then there's just going to be no way for small people to be able to compete in the in that big market.